welcome to each rafiq today i will discuss about how we can find out the output of for loop using without any compiler or interpreter in python for first program suppose we have a pro program for c in and here is a word welcome then in print statement it's written print c now when you write the output you have to write only the print statements one so here c is a character variable it can store one character and inside the loop welcome word is there so each time character will uh, print one one character from the word like the output will let's run the program output will be this way welcome and when you write this answer in copy you will write uh, you will write this way like output w e l c o m e you will write this way output you don't have to write the codes again now if we do little changes in this code suppose i have added one more word in print statement that is and equal comma just that part i have added now see earlier its character was displayed in one one sen uh, line now everything will display in one line because i have uh, given the end of line as comma by default the end of line is a new line oh sorry one more bracket i have given so here everything displayed in one line only now suppose we have some another program now here we have we don't have word we have some numbers like for number in in range and here have just one number 10 and print num now what will be the output when they are in the parameter or inside the bracket if there is just only number that means that is the and step and the starting number will be always one and the step number will be always plus one for that reason now if we run this program the output will be one two three four five till nine yeah Oh, it, it start from 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, like this way. In computer, the numbers are always start from 0. Now, if we add one more number, 1, comma, 10. Now, the output will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's see. Now, the output is this way. Now if we add one and after num and equal comma now the output will be in one line one two three four five six seven eight and when you write the answer in copy you will write this way you will not write this all python version and all just you will write one comma 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 comma 7 comma 8 9 so this will be the answer for that program now let's we have some another program now suppose we have step 
step number also here we have one more number here 2 now what will be the output now the number will starting from 1 then each time it will plus 2 and it go till 10 means at first it will be 1 then the, the next number will be 1 plus 2 it, will, it is 3 like 1 3 5 7 and 9 let's run the program so then our output is this one 1 3 5 7 9 now what happen if we add the minus number in our inside the brackets suppose we have a number 10 and we'll go till 0 and each time minus 1 now we'll see the numbers in a reverse order means it will start from 10 and each time it's minus 1 like 10 9 8 and so on let's run so the output is this one 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and for python whatever and number we write or stop number we write it will be always less than 1 like for decreasing order i have written 0 so it will stop at 1 if i write the in increasing order 10 then it will stop at 9 so if i want to display the number from 1 to 10 then the program will be like that 1 uh, 1 11 and 1 means starting from 1 runs till 11 uh, 10 and each time increase by 1 so let's have output so this is the answer now let's have some answer. now suppose we have this program sum equal 0 for num in range 1 will not take a big number 1 6 1 again sum equal sum plus number that means it will add all the numbers from 1 to 5 so let's see what will be the output the output will be like that 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 3 6 6 plus 4 10 10 plus 5 15 the output should be 15 so here the output is 15 now see how it is work so at first we have the value of sum is 0 and the number value is 1 only so when it will be run for first time sum equal 0 plus 1 so it will be 1 and the loop value is still 1 only it di didn't change till now oh loop value will be now 2 next time sum equal 1 plus 2 means as value is 1 num value is 2 that's why 1 plus 2 it is 3 and number will be 3 again sum three plus three it is six and number will be four number each time increasing by one and sum value is increasing by s plus n so remember this again sum equal six plus four ten number equal five Again, sum equal 10 plus 5, it's 15, and number 
equal six. Now as the number is six, now the loop will stop. So the value of sum is fifteen. As in our print statement, we have to display only sum. So the answer will be output fifteen. So this way you can find out the output of this type of program. That's all for today. See you in the next video. Till then, take care and bye.